Okay, today we're going to play a deck that won the challenge over the weekend. This is a deck by a dude named Surus MTG, who's one of, like, the best dudes out there. He's a He was an old grinder, an old moto grinder. He used to stream under the name Prison Mike, uh, a guy I respect a lot. I always love his decks. This deck won the Doghouse Open, and... Uh, it got a track set to make the deck a little bit better. So uh, we're going to play it in a modern prelim, which started a couple minutes ago, but that's not what's important. Essentially, he's using Goryeo's Vengeance to put in a track set Emrakul, and it also has the Asmo package. And um, it's kind of cool. It's kind of fun. This dude, Surus MTG, has been working on it for a while, and he's been working on it for the last couple of months. And he's been perfecting it, and he finally and he won a challenge with it. I have nothing but respect for this dude. I love this dude. I, he's a guy who invented Wurza Tron a million years ago. Uh, he's been playing forever. I I respect him. I like playing his decks. I think they're well built. He put a, puts a lot of time into it. So let's jump into round number one. Would you like to play first? Yes. All right, we're only four minutes late. No big deal. Good luck. Have fun. The name was Prison Mike. He doesn't stream anymore, but he used to stream. Okay, so let's take a look at what we got here. We have everything we need to kill them, right? We have the discard outlet. We have the vengeance. We have thoughtsies to make sure it's okay. We need to use the profane tutor to get an Emrakul or a thingy. But I think his hand's a keeper, so let's keep. Cut the intruder alarm from from that deck. All right, so we'll start off with thought sees. Bam. What do you got? Let's take a look. What's in that hand? Oh, okay. Well, hmm. Hmm. I guess we'd end up taking the most damage from the goblin guide. I guess hitting us with the Goblin Guide, next turn we have to shards the Goblin Guide versus the Eidolon. We take two from both, but I kind of could use the land. But if I am using the land, then what am I discarding to the shards? Because I kind of need all these cards. So maybe let's just take the Goblin Guide. Let's just take the Goblin Guide, and there's a chance that we can use the Saga Tokens to, like block that thing but let's just take the goblin guide so we can suspend our profane tutor next turn maybe we don't even suspend the tutor mistaken thank you for the raid welcome everyone we're setting up here so i guess we just suspend the tutor we'll suspend the tutor now we have an extra gorios here to pitch to get rid of that thing thank you for the raid mistaken welcome everyone we are starting off with a... We're playing a preliminary with Goryeo's Vengeance. Okay, so this comes off. So we drew another land. That's a great draw for us. Um, so let's... Bone Shards. That thing. Discard the other Vengeance. And let's make a cookbook. And next turn, it's uh, Emrakul time. We might actually get Atraxa, though. I feel like Atraxa is a better hit. Like, we'd fill up our hand. We'll probably be able to do another Goryeo's. And I think we want to Atraxa. All right. So this is going to hurt us a bit. So we're probably going to have to get Atraxa. I don't know. Hmm. All right. So let's take a look. Let's take a look at our options here. So we're going to go to our turn, right? The Profane Tutor is going to come off Suspend. Okay, Profane Tutor is off Suspend. Let's cast a Profane Tutor. We lose three. That stinks. Um, okay, so... We could just eliminate their whole board here. Or we could get an Atraxa and gain 11 life. I think we just get the Atraxa, right? I think we get the Atraxa. Alright, so let's float a mana here. 
And we're going to get... I guess we get the Brainstone. We probably just get a cookbook. What the hell is the Brainstone going to do? Let's get another cookbook. And let's go... Discard a card. Discard a Traxa. And then let's go Goryeo's Vengeance, a Traxa. We lose two. We go to nine. That's no big deal. Okay. Probably the same effect as the Emrakul, right? Like, odds are, with this Atraxa, we're going to be able to get another Goryeo's Vengeance and get another Emrakul and a land. So we go land, discard this, put the other Emrakul in the graveyard, and then cast the other Goryeo's. Dingo, thank you. Thank you, buddy. Thank you with the Dink Donk. Thank you with the Dink Donk. All right. So, we're playing against this deck called Burn, huh? All right, what do we want against Burn? Well, we obviously want Shadow Sphere. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, so we obviously want the Shadow Sphere, right? Shadow Sphere seems good against the uh, the Burn player. What else can we do here? Uh, this gains us two life, but I don't know. It destroys... This would destroy uh, Graveyard Hate that they could bring in, but I don't think we need to worry about this. Um, fatal pushes might be good. Like, fatal pushes are something we could think about. We could also think about Haywire might. Nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, I kind of want to put... Hmm, nah. Alright, so we want these four cards in. So what do we cut for these cards? Maybe we could cut... Thought Seizes. That seems like an easy swap. Four for four. Sounds good to me. Uh, yeah. We could bring in a might too. They do have might over what? Brainstone seems kind of derpy. Blood Fountain is kind of cool in that you get blood, it lets you discard. It might be a little derpy, but we'll bring in a might to kill. Might kills uh, the two-mana enchantment that we can't gain life with. But I think we run it like this. Why are you playing this? Listen. Emrakul. I love Prison Mike. Michael. I, I, I love the dude. He's one of the nicest. He's one of the nicest people I've ever played against. I used to play against him all the time in Star Cities. Why did I keep this hand? That's what's more important, is why the fuck did I keep this hand? Ragavan? Whoa. Whoa. Burn with Ragavan? Hold on. Burn doesn't play good cards. Lord Barris is a streamer. He streams a little bit, so we're having some fun. Oh. I kept this hand because I knew I was just going to top that Goryeo's, so... I don't know. Alright. Bone Shards, discard a card. Kill the Ragavan, discard a Traxa. We didn't pitch the Emrakul, because the Emrakul would shuffle away, and then we'd be big sad. Swift Spare? Sure. Lava Spike. Alright. Hmm. Swamp. Goryeo's Vengeance. Target Atraxa. Okay. We did it! This doesn't win the game, though. It just draws me a couple of cards and gains me seven life. That's not too bad. I mean, it's only seven life. Yeah, tough games. I worked hard for this. Tough games, I know. We really stretched our... Now, what the fuck? Are... This... All right. So, this is a problem. Aspiring Spike is like, I don't want to do prelims because it just leads to dead air. And then I'm like, no, I want to do prelims. And then I'm like, sitting here with fucking 50 minutes to kill. I'm like, all right, Spike. Maybe maybe the number one streamer knows a thing or two about what he should be doing. But anyway... Okay. Let's take a look at our hand. We have... Absolutely nothing going on. And we have a Saga. 
We have Saga, right? So all we need to do is draw a Goryeo's Vengeance. Okay. This is the exact same hand, but good. This is a more gooder hand. Uh, and the question now becomes what goes back. I think it's probably the Brutality, because I think we go turn one, thought it's either the Saga or the Brutality. It's one of these two. Because we go turn one, we're keeping. We could turn one the Saga. Turn two. I think we put back the Brutality. We're on the draw. All right. So the question is, do we Saga on one? I don't think we Saga on one because we don't necessarily need to turbo out the discard outlet because we have Brutality minus... We get Brutality pitch the Atraxa. So I think we just go Swamp, Thoughtseize. Oh my goodness. Somebody's been watching Aspiring Spike stream. Somebody's watching too much Spike. Alright. So, we're dead here. We're gonna die. We can't win. Game over. Alright. Uh, let us Thoughtseize. Let's take their Ground Riff. Uh, let's take their ground riff. I think they're debating dumping their whole hand. Uh, okay. So this is actual, factual, boring infect. So, what are they going to do next turn? We're not going to be able to collect the brutality of the Rot Priest. I mean, we're going to be able to, but it's going to lose the targets. I think we take the vines. Vines can kill us. Uh, we'll take the vines. All right. How? How are you liking new infect? I know some people who love the infect. Okay. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, that's so perfect for us. Oh, that's so perfect. All right, we have to just kill the agent. We have to send the agent to sleep. Wow, that's a fucking draw. Oh, so the, the trick to playing this deck is just draw Goryeo's, Goryeo's, right? There's all these cards that would suck to draw, and then the best possible. Okay, so let's go draw the best possible. Let's cast Collective Brutality. Kill this. Make them discard. Make them discard the Blossoming Defense. Kill that. Oh my god. Well, this lined up. This, this lined up pretty well. I'm kind of glad we kept this Collective Brutality. Uh, so another hand exactly. So they're probably just typing. They're probably just typing. I enjoyed it. I feel like the list isn't completely optimized yet. All right. Collective Brutality cast. Let's go. Target creature gets minus two, minus two. Target opponent reveals their hand. Cast. Target the opponent. Target the creature. Discard Atraxa. Oh, no. They get a point. We get a poison counter. Ugh. The future is here. We're just living in the future world with Venerated Rock Priest. All right. We take the defense. And then next turn, it's a Traxa time. <laughs> toxic. Listen, the only toxic streamers I know stream late at night. Late at night, they're out there being toxic, yelling at their mods. The future is now, old man. All right. So, uh, okay. Now we're going to cast Goryeo's Vengeance. We're going to target a Traxa. Traxa comes into play. Trigger. Okay. All right. Uh, what the fuck do we want? We probably want a Goryeo's Vengeance. That's for sure. So Goryeo's Vengeance is our instant. 
And then our sorcery is either Thoughtseize or Profane Tutor. We probably just want Thoughtseize. So we can just, if we Thoughtseize ourselves, we can just Thoughtseize ourselves, discard an Emrakul, and Goryeo's Vac the Emrakul next turn. And we'll get a Bloodstained Mire. Right? So we go one, two, three, four. The next turn we just thought sees ourselves and then Goryeo's bring it back. So we're getting one. We're getting land, creature, instant, sorcery. <laughs> yeah, but I mean what what the hell is Profane Tutor gonna do? We could even just thought sees them. Okay. So now we crack this for a swamp. Thought sees you. Make sure they don't have anything. Mutagenic growth. Yeah. Done. Begin the combat. Begin the combat attack. Okay. We've gained one million life. And... Now we're done. We're getting a cookbook off this, right? So we could just discard this, Goryeo's them. We have to survive this turn. Yay, we did it. Okay. So now we have to figure out, tap this for the manas. This comes into play. Now we get to search for the cookbook. We get to discard an Emrakul. Trigger on the stack. Goryeo's Vac. The Emrakul. We did it! We are the best! Emrakul resolves trigger. Begin combat. Begin combat. So I'm going to attack here. And I'm going to point to my Emrakul. And I'm going to say Emrakul. And my opponent's going to say yes. And then they're going to say go to damage. And then they're going to tell me that I missed the Emrakul trigger. All right, so what do we want against them? We want, I mean, I could see, I could see an argument for all this shit, right? <laughs> okay, so Haywire might, it doesn't kill creatures, so it won't kill a spell skite, so we're not going to, we're not going to bring it in. Because we want to kill spell skite and we want to kill... Um, the flyer one one, so we don't want it, right? Pithing needle on the flyer one one is not terrible. It's probably definitely worth inclusion in the deck. And then these cards just all murder things. So let's bring all these in. Okay, so we're bringing in six cards. So let's cut uh, the blood fountains. Let's cut the brainstone. What else are we cutting? I mean, all these cards seem really good, right? I mean, maybe we could shave the Profane Tutors. I mean, Cookbook... Cookbook... Ad I mean, all right, Graham. Let's, let's slow down here. They're a creature deck. And then, like, these things just kill their creatures. So I don't know why you'd think that this looks bad. This shit just murders creatures. Asmo likes to feed creatures bad food, which doesn't seem that bad to me. Right? I mean, I would think we want to shave this bigger package and just play, like, an Asmo and just murder them, you know? Did I keep Asmo in? Yeah. No. If there was a way to flicker your creature to avoid you. I think that once you resolve Di Diamond, I think that once you just get one of these in play, you don't need to flicker. You could mess around with that, but I think it's probably a little doing too much. All right, we'll shave an Asbo, we'll shave a Daredevil, and we'll shave Bone Shards for more better removal. 
just laugh at my opponent doing daredevil things. Oh, Graham. Hmm. Well, this needle sure looks pretty fucking stupid in this hand. Uh, I guess we, we just have no interaction. We're just one cookbook away from winning. I think we gotta do better than this. We, we literally can't do anything. Okay. Jeez. Alright, well, I, I guess we keep this. I, I guess we keep this. Cookbook. Yield. Gotta do better than this? I don't... I guess we'll settle for the... There was a hand that did absolutely nothing... And we couldn't cast a single spell in our hand versus killing them on turn two. All right. Um, the question becomes, do we just go for it into spell pierce or do we try and wait a turn and be patient and good and disciplined? This is our, this is our dilemma. We can, we asked ourselves, do, does our opponent have a spell pierce? This is our question. Do you have a spell pierce? Right? There is no fear in this dojo? That's true. There is no fear. Alright, so we can... We can thought seize them, but we don't really need to play this other cookbook. So if we are going to spend two mana, we might as well just brutality them cast target opponent reveals their hand choose a sorcery i want your spell pierce i am hunting for spell pierces give them to me give them to me so we want the spell pierces. Uh, what do they got? Ooh. Punished. 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 Well. That's even better than a pierce. I mean, it is, it is better than a pierce. Uh, we're going to draw land and we're going to be able to thought seize into Gorios. Everything's beautiful and groovy here. Mm -hmm. Uh, I got destroyed by the Obosh. I played against Obosh Mono Red with Yogmoth, and they just had... They stopped at three lands and just drew only removal. Alright, so we need to draw land so we can go Thought Seize, Gorios. Blighted Agent. Land, please. Mm. Okay. Uh, I feel like we play Cookbook. No, this is kind of rough. We have a lot of choices here. So we could just discard this and then jam and then get wrecked by spell pierce. Which I'd have to imagine they have, right? Well fine. I'm renting I'm renting these cards. Huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I don't think he got my joke. Hiya. I don't think he got the joke. Uh huh. 
Your turn. Noble Hierarch. How noble. Uh, discard Thoughtseize. Cast Asmo. Draw a card. Get a thingy. I hope you're hungry, little friend. Delicious. Uh, play the... Eh, do we thought seize them? I mean, take the blocker, right? GG's. Okay. Any yog on the menu? Hmm. Okay, so what do we got? We've got... A Profane Tutor? Profane Tutor gets us both part of the combo. So I guess this is a turn four. So you turn two. I don't know. They're probably playing Burn and they're just going to roll us. But we'll see. We'll see. All we need to do... Chancellor of the Triangle has the Tangle. Oh boy. Opponent's up to no good. Nobody playing this card is up to any good. Not that we're not up to good. No, they're not playing the burn. I'll tell you that much. They are not up to... Chancellor, huh? Alright. Um, we'll play the fetch land. Crack it. Heal to the turn. Okay, so they're playing uh, Grizzle. They're playing Neoform. Yeah. Reveal Chancellor, cast Flame Rift. Go. All right, we're going to suspend Profane Tutor. Yield. Thank you, Tox. That's very kind of you. I appreciate the seven months of support. Thank you. I appreciate it. Too kind. All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Allosaurus Rider. So, what are we doing here? What are we doing? We can go Blood Fountain, discard Atraxa, play Asmo. Blood Fountain, discard Asmo. But then we can't kill this. I think we're better off just thought seizing them and playing the blood fountain. Let's thought seize them. Let's just make sure we're not dying to anything soon. So we need to take the Neo form. There are two lands off this. So let's take the Neo form. Let's play the blood fountain. And we're passing, and next turn we have Atraxa. Yeah, maybe we're looting at the end of turn so we can use all our mana. We're probably looting at the end of turn. Because Profane Tutor's coming off Suspend. Yeah, let's loot at the end of turn. I feel like if we're going to have Atraxa in play, we're going to want to use all our mana. Sure. So let's crack this. Get a swamp. Let's discard Atraxa. Untap. Untap. Suspend comes off. Suspend. Where is it? Where is my profane tutor? There you are. Hidden. Alright, let's get Gorio's Ven. Now we're going to play this, crack this, get a swamp, cast Gorios, target Atraxa. Atraxa enters the battlefield. We are going to get another Gorios. We are going to get a Bone Shards. We are going to get a Cookbook, an Emrakul, and... Uh, a saga. 
I guess I shouldn't have played the land first, so I could have played this saga, but it really doesn't matter. Get the saga. So we have one, two, instant, sorcery. Bone shards is a sorcery. So now we go bone shards. Kill that. Discard Ovaltine. Uh, play Asmo. Play Asmo. Yes, get the cookbook. Get the cookbook. Heck you. Oh, Saga does count as an enchantment. Yeah, I could have done Saga as a land too. That's kind of wild. I could have done Saga as enchantment and got a basic swamp. So we could have had a really spicy turn there. But this this is fine, right? We killed their Allosaurus Rider. You know, they're, they're not making it. All right. Begin the sideboarding. So we want Spell Bomb and we want Pithing Needle. These cards are very good. Um, they're better than... I don't know what the hell they're better than. They're better than Oval Teens, right? So if you Pithy Needle naming Grizzlebrand against them, that's a very big game. Yeah. So like, Pithy Needle on Mox Amber, or Pithy Needle on Grizzlebrand stops their bullshit. And Spellbomb can interact with them. It's going to interact with them more than food tokens will. Right? Because So the loop with the deck we're playing against is... Uh, let's see if we can find it. How far down do you think we have to go to find it? It's a deck that Bryant Cook plays, so you know it's shit. Uh, how far down do we have to go? We gotta go pretty far down to find this deck. But essentially what ends up happening is they end up looping... His deck was in the chat. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, okay. So essentially what ends up happening is... They end up looping their their deck with uh, endurances. So basically, they draw through their whole deck, right? Cast a bunch of nourishing shoals, gain a bunch of life, draw through their deck, play an endurance. Loop they loop the um, loop the loop the mox ambers to use aether flux to kill you. So they'll mox amber. Play another Mox Amber, draw through their deck, play, right? And then they use Aether Flux to kill you. So the deck has to loop to kill you. Does that make sense? So you have to, so it loops. So if you have a Spell Bomb, you can break up the loop. Sometimes. I think it's better than a Daredevil that's ain't gonna do sh that isn't going to do anything. So that's why I'm bringing in the, the thing. It's just a one drop that interacts. It's like a weird... It, it's not easy, right? They don't have an easy win like some of the other decks in the past. So they end up like looping endurances and like doing all kinds of weird stuff. Does that make sense? Joshko? You, you with me? Um, they do have Pact of Negations, which is wild. How many times I've brought a Gigantha? I forgot I had Gigantha. <laughs> Gigantha, count... Count zero. <laughs> I forgot I had it. I don't know. I don't exactly know, but I think it's better than a slow, grindy card. I revealed Gigant every time. Okay, so what do we got here? We've got... This is a turn two. Well, I mean, it's a turn two Atraxa. Right? Uh... 
There are versions of the list. There are versions of the list that have played Atraxa, have played Thrasta in the past. I mean, it's a turn two Atraxa. We just need another land. We should probably just mulligan to a Thoughtseize. This hand doesn't do anything either. I mean, this is a turn three Atraxa. So we start with Saga. Turn two, we cast Profane Tutor. Turn three, we do nothing. Turn four, we have the thing. I want... Th the thing is, you just need to Thought Seize this deck. All right. We'll I guess we'll keep this. Put back one, put back two. Maybe I should have kept the first hand. Abundant Harvest. I want your elf guy. I want your elf guy. Give him to me. Give me your elf man. Okay. We've taken their elf. Step one. Elf gone. Warlock Grove. <laughs> Sorry, he's renting the elf. Okay. So step two is... Brutality, discard a Traxa, get the Nourishing Shoal, or the Evolution. <laughs> Thoughtseize Bug? No, there's no... The Thoughtseize Bug isn't real, it can't hurt you. Okay, so now we go pay two. Yes. So I don't think we need to uh, do two modes with this. I think we want to do one mode. So here's the question. Are we going to draw exactly Goryeo's Vengeance next turn? Because if we're going to draw exactly Goryeo's Vengeance next turn, then Collective Br Brutality with two modes is better here. Because then we just have this in our graveyard, and then we can Goryeo's it, and we're good. But if we're not going to do draw exactly two, we're going to go Cookbook. It's better to have this in our hand to discard to the Cookbook. I think we're going to just draw it. Doink, doink. Doink, doink. Discard you. We're going to draw another crappy card that we could just discard anyway next turn. So let's put them at below double activation of Jizzlebrand. I mean, they have the Nourishing Shoal, so... Grizzlebrand activations are not really the issue. Alright, we're going to take this Evolution out of their hand, that's for sure. Oh, did I say we're going to take the evolution? I think we're going to take... I mean, evolution and neoform are the same thing. I guess evolution pitches for more with the nourishing shoal. I guess evolution costs more mana, so we should take the cheap one. So in case they, like, cantrip, then I guess we'll take the neoform. All right. So their hand is Sanctum. Oh, the, these. We probably should have taken the Shoal. Because both of these are kind of redundant. But. Oh, that was a good draw. That was our perfect discard. All right. Play the cookbook. Discard the doofus. Yes. Play Schmasmo. Yes. Get the cookbook. We actually... <laughs> okay, so what they pitch? They pitched... Nourishing Shoal. Oh, they're going to get a Grizzle Brand. Shit, man. That was a good draw. That was a good draw. That's unfortunate for us. Unfortunate for us? Uh-oh.
Well, shit. Okay, what do we want to draw? We want to draw Gorios. Another cookbook wouldn't be too bad either. Another rider. Grizzlebrand's kind of good. Grizzlebrand is kind of good. All right. Well, crap. Things have spiraled out of control here. So, I guess we play the cookbook. Discard, discard. Kill this thing. The problem with the cookbook is that Tar Creature goes damage to itself. And they gain life. We're probably dead next turn. But we're gonna... I guess we discard the Daredevil. We're just gonna do what we can do here. Discard the Daredevil. Yes. Play the cookbook. Uh, discard the Daredevil. Okay. Yes. The problem, there's a problem with attacking. I don't know if I like attacking. All right, so let's think. Can we get them to block with the Grizzlebrand? If we attack, what are they doing? They'll just block with the Rider. I mean... All right, so I think we're going to have to kill one of these. Close thoughts these. We're, we're dead to the Grizzlebrand. Let's be real. Let's be real. Alright, Thoughtseize. Oh, we're gonna get rid of this worm. We're gonna get rid of the worm here. And we're gonna pass the turn. Do I need to kill this thing now? I mean, what would they get besides Grizzlebrand? They could just... No, we'll just pass for now. I mean... This is such a weird deck. It's really outside my comfort zone, so I don't really know what they're up to. I guess we just have to kill the Rider now. Alright, let's kill the Rider now. This doesn't put us dead to one hit to this. We could take two hits. Alright. Draw seven cards. Alright, so they have two Neo Farms plus eight new cards. One blue cast serum visions. I would still very much like to draw that Gorios. Veil of Summers times four. Draw with the Waterlog Grove. I guess they're looking for a nourishing shoal to pop off. Summoner's Pact. Well, all right, here they go. Cool. Alrighty. We are probably dead. But we'll see their little combo. We will show it for science. They probably win now. I don't really know. There's one Nourishing Shoal. One's in Exile. There's Mox Amber. It's post-combat. How do they win? They're going to cast... They're going to use... Uh, according to this, they use Aether Flux Reservoir after going through their whole deck a couple of times. That seems to be the win in this list. But we'll see. 
they exiled the nourishing troll already. So if the other two nourishing trolls are at the bottom of their deck and they don't have them in their 21 card hand. Yeah. Well, there's already down one, two, three Allosaurus Riders. So there's down one, two, three Riders already. So it's possible that the other nourishing trolls are in the bottom 16 cards and they can't do anything else this turn. Yeah. They do have Endurances. So basically they tap this Mox Amber. They're going to discard here. That was not the draw that I needed to draw. In fact, that was the opposite of the draw that I needed to draw. Okay. So what can we do? What can we do? Well, we're going to discard our Daredevil. We're going to discard our Daredevil. Yes. We're going to discard our Daredevil. Yes. Then we're going to attack for three. Okay. And I'm going to play the Bloodstained Mire. And uh, that's it, right? We probably eat a eat a food token here at the end of turn. Maybe we end up having to hard cast the Ovaltine Daredevil. Okay. Would you like to pay four mana or lose the game? Three, four. Damn, they chose to pay four mana. Whoa. Wish they chose to lose the game instead, but I guess sometimes people choose to live. Weird. All right, so we're going to go to two here. What a pro, yeah, pro gamer move to pay for the pact. I would have skipped the pack. All right, so they go to four here. This is not good for us. Two is not zero. That is true. Two is not zero. Yeah. There's this one person. I think it's Ari Zax. I think it's a different person that plays Neoform all the time. I think it's 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 Azax. I think it's like a different guy. But I think it is. But they always play this deck. I think they're two different people. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. There's like the one guy who's like Ari Lax. And then there's another guy. AI. This guy. I think this is the guy. Not the Pro Tour. I think this is the guy that does... This is that guy who does that deck. Yeah, this is the Neoform guy. Yeah. Alright, so they gain two here. They gain two here. There's the Reservoir. I don't know what they're doing, man. I'm just here for the ride. So they have to have endurances in their hand, right? So what's in their hand? I don't know. I think... So I can gain two life here? But I think... I guess I can gain two life and then kill the Grizzlebrand. I don't know, man. It's tough. I mean, yeah, they could draw their deck, for sure. I think they looped the Mox Ambers. I don't know. We'll just let you guys see. Because I'm curious as well. Here comes an Endurance. So they have no cards left in their library. If I had a Mikokoro Seize Edge, I could kill them right now. It'd be so good. Who knows what they run? I really have no idea what they run. All right. Here's Endurance. 
Yeah, they loop the moxes and they play the endurance. Yeah. So like right here, this is where if I had spell bomb, I would spell bomb them. Even though they have the other endurance. Okay. Okay. So I guess I shouldn't F6. Nourishing Shoal, Pitch the Worm. Uh-huh. Nourishing Shoal. Draw with Endure. Draw with Grizzlebrand. Yeah. Well, you guys get to see it now. Um, they got pretty lucky this, this game, I think. I think we thought seized them like twice. Killed their one thing. They drew the perfects. It's okay. We'll win game three. They tap a box amber. Draw 39 cards in their graveyard. Yeah, it'd be nice. That'd be kind of funny. All right, mind break trap the endurance. So we'll let you guys see this. Good games, good games. Been getting. I got destroyed in challenges over the weekend. All right. So, what are they doing? <coughs> so, they have 39 cards in hand. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how this is going to work. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, they just keep that exact 7. And then they draw seven, and they can just... Okay. All right, you guys get it? So then they have 44 cards in hand. I don't know. I guess I'm going to make them do it. I don't know. Yeah, they can fizzle. Nourishing Shoal, Nourishing Shoal, Nourishing Shoal. Mox Amber. Tap the Mox Amber. Play the Shoal. They can, yeah, 0% fizzle. I'm just showing you guys how they win. They have uh, Aether Flux Reservoir. So, we'll just... I'll just let you guys see. Yeah. Aether Flux Reservoir. Draw. I wonder if this is the best way to win. It probably must be. If that's what he's playing. Mox Amber. Here comes Aether Flux Reservoir. I wonder how much their life they're going to gain for the Aether Flux. 15 spells have been cast this turn. So then they just go... Mox Amber. They cast another Nourishing Shoal. And then they kill us. Alright, we can concede to that. Oh, we're actually dead. That was fun. Where's my deflecting palm? Uh, so, where's the list? How is there four Besages? Okay. Well. I think we're running it back. Just running it back. Yeah. Let's just run it back. Run it back. Would you like to play first? Yes, I would. Gigantha. Okay, we have Thoughtseize. Is Thoughtseize enough to keep this hand? I think it is. I think we just go first so we Thoughtseize them. 
And we'll use this Saga as a win con. So we have Thoughtseize plus Saga. Plus we have Discard Outlet. Needle. We can get the Needle. We, can, we have the Discard Outlet. I think we're in a good spot. Alright, we're gonna play Saga. And we're gonna play Cookbook. Yield to the turn. We have to get to this Pithing Needle. The problem is, Pithing Needle doesn't stop the Grizzle Brand that exists, right? I think Needle doesn't stop the Grizzlebrand that already exists. Spellbomb does target. But Pithing Needle stops them from killing us instantly, which is something that's not zero. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. So, well, this is not exactly very good here. So, we'll just pass the turn. I think stopping the Grizzle Brand is better than the Reservoir. Because if they have one Besaju in their deck, like, let's say they bring in one Besaju. They'll be able to find it if they're looping Grizzlebrands, right? Whereas, it'll be harder for them to find the one Besaju if they don't. Yeah, just name Besaju? I mean, true. Hey, no problem. I love Surus. That dude's awesome. It's pretty simple. When I draw Goryeo's Vengeance, I'm a lot better off. Alright. Well, are we dead? He was a, he was a good streamer. He's one of the nicest dudes I've ever played against. Super nice guy. I played against him a lot too. Well, I'm F sixth. I am F sixth. Mercurio, thank you for giving out a gifted sub. Very kind of you. All right. Let's see if they could do it. If they miss, if they miss on a nourishing shoal, we win. Right? They've already pitched one cuz they have to pay for a summoner's pack next turn. I think they didn't miss. All right. We'll hang out here. Looks like they hit. hit. Looks like they hit. Well, yeah, we're dead. I'll let you guys see it, though. I mean, we could time them out. We could, I don't know. Summoner's Pact. Endurance. Draw. Well, there is no next. I'm just in, I'm in a prelim. Zern Orb. I will, I will not time this guy out. I'm not going to do that. I'll, I'll concede when we're dead. But. Mm -hmm. Amber. I guess we're probably just dead. Guess we're probably just dead. No, we don't need to. I mean, maybe if it's a challenge and it's like, nah, we don't need to time out anyone. Especially not this gentleman. We're not going to time him out. Um. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing with this deck. It's always been a very high rolly deck. Where, like... You're not going to beat me. I have four Ember Cools, homie. You don't you want none of this. You don't want none of this with your mill bullshit. 
Uh, mm -hmm. Oh boy. Nourishing Shoal. I'm curious how they get enough cards in the graveyard here, right? One, two, three, four, five. So they got to put another card in the graveyard. They have... Yeah. Some respect. Then they sack the land, then the endurance. Okay. We're dead. We're dead. We'll just give it to them. Because then they play the other Amber, do the thing. We're, we're dead. We are dead. I mean, what are you going to do? Tur double Ley Line, kill you on turn two. Cool. 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 What they beat you with? So they have uh, Aetherflux Reservoir. Yeah, Sandy Dog's a nice dude. And I'd feel bad timing him out. Uh, Aetherflux Reservoir. So they they get to four mana, cast the Reservoir, and then they could just recast all the Nourishing Trolls. Our only hope was that they didn't find a nourishing shoal in their first two, their first two, but they found it and they killed us. This deck is is very powerful, but you know, who is Sandy Dog in real life? Uh, all right, what do we got? We've got Blood Fountain, we've got Schmasma, we've got Emrakul, we got yeah, yeah, keep. I love MJ. I love MJ. All right, Jay Blaze playing the breeding pool. Ignoble High Arc. Uh, we're going to get a swamp. We're going to play a blood fountain. <laughs> yeah. I just remember him saying that stupid thing. Are we playing against Infect again? What the fuck is this? Is this Infect? We are playing against Infect again. God damn it. Hmm. Okay. Are we dead next turn? I guess we play Urza Saga, discard the blood token, pitch a land... Play Asmo. Hope we're not dead. And then we can get... Then next turn we go... Thingy, kill you. Alright. Play this. Discard. This. Cast Asmo. Draw, get, cookbook. Yes. Cookbook. Yield to the turn. All right. Hope I don't die. I had a good life if I die, though. We got a good turn in. You know. Sometimes you just die. Sometimes you just get killed on turn two. Turn three. All right. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Velskite, uh-huh. Hockey! Step number one. So this goes to two. Okay. I'm going to cast Cookbook. I wonder if they have Spell Pierce here. I'm not beating a spell pierce regardless. I mean, can I beat a spell pierce? No, let's just fucking jam. Let's just pump the jam. Alright, let's discard a card. Discard Emrakul. One, two. Bonk. 
Corios. Or out. I guess we get a food token. I guess. I guess Plan B. Asmo time. Asmo time. What time is it? It's time to make them eat food. I hope you're hungry, little guys. I hope you're hungry, little guys. I hope are they hungry. I hope they're hungry. So, let's see. We get a saga of this. So we get three sagas next. Do we get three cookbooks? All right. So, trigger. Let's float a mana here. Uh, then we go... Then we go get to the cookbook. Then we go discard the daredevil. Make the cookbook. Get the guy back. Yes. Now we play the other uh, cookbook. This just means no saga token, but other than that, I don't really care. All right. So tap one, two. Yes. I'm not making a saga. I don't care about the saga token anyway. Play the land. Uh, discard. Yes. Let's kill this. One, two. Obviously, they can misdirect it to the spell skite. But. Six damage, please. I wanted to give you a present, but you didn't want a present. Discard a card. Yes. I hope you're hungry. <sighs> okay. I mean, we have four Urza Sagas, so let's get in the attack. We're gonna have four cookbooks next turn, so if we don't die next turn, we are going to kill them. But I mean we could realistically die next turn. It just takes one scale up and we dead. Yeah, one might of old whatever, one scale up, one vines kicked. One thingy and we're dead. Well, it looks like we're not dead. So if we're not dead, that's pretty bad for them. All right, so let's go crack this fetch. Let's get the overgrown tomb. So we can use our Beseju should we draw it. And tap. Uh, we're probably best off making a duber here, right? Make a duber. Trigger, get another cookbook. And then we're going to go make a dude. Yeah, so we're going to make all our... We're going to make all our treasures. Make a dude. And then we're going to Inquisition. With four whatever in play. And we're kind of shortcutting here, but... Make all the dudes. Yes. Doink. Doink. Yes. Play this. Crack this. Get the Swampies. Cast Inquisition of Kozalek. I want to see your hand. Please. What are you cracking? What are you doing? Why are you cracking? No. No, no. No, no. No, no, no. And you, you're dead too. Everything's dead. You get nothing. Because you took away my fun of casting Emrakul. I just wanted to cast Emrakul. Right? I just wanted to play an Emrakul and just hit him with an Emrakul. And they had a spell pierce. So my fun was ruined. Ruined. <laughs> Well, if they would have had that last turn, we would have been dead. But they chose they chose not to have that last turn. 
And we won the game because of it. Okay, what do we want? We want Fatal Pushes. Last time I brought in Pithing Needle and it felt really bad. Last time I had Pithing Needle in and it felt kind of crappy. All I wanted was my Emrakul. Remember we drew this against them and they like killed us? Alright. Let's try and cut some of the big nasty stuff. Let's cut a, the, that. Let's cut the Profane Tutors. Like, I don't think they can beat Schmasmo. So let's do what we just did. Uh, You know, they don't have a interaction to this. Let's cut a Blood... F eh, I like Blood Fountain. Alright, let's run it back. I'll be right back. I'm gonna run... Uh, I'll be right back in one minute while they sideboard. Okay, we're back. Arkin, thank you for the raid. Welcome, everyone. We're playing Gorio's Vengeance in a modern prelim. We're currently in game two, up a game. So... I don't think we can keep this. If we had an Asthma, we could keep it. But without the Asthma, I don't think we can keep this. I think we have to mulligan. Okay. I like this hand a lot. This hand's very good. I mean, it's not very good, but it's good. You know what I'm saying? It's good. I guess we're putting back Blood Fountain. Because we have the cookbook Asmo package here. Probably put back the Blood Fountain. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's keep. Put back Blood Fountain. Done. So Oval, Ta Oval Chase is pretty good here. Botanical Sanctum. So, we'll just start off with the Thought Seat. Oh, let's see what we draw. Um, I feel like I don't want to walk into a Spell Pierce here. So, I think I'm just going to start off with the Thought Seas. If this were to get Spell Pierced, it would be very bad for us. So, let's start off with the spell Thought Seas. Let's get this Spell Pierced. Alright, well, that sucks. If they only had that and they didn't have, like... Something else that would be not great for us. All right, well, they can't flush. Fluster Storm is only instant or sorcery, so maybe we should have let on Cookbook. We'll see, right? We'll see. Hopefully, they play Agent here, and we can just Fatal Push it. Spell Skite. All right, Spell Skite's okay. So now we can play Cookbook. Maybe I'm supposed to Fatal Push this, but they only have three cards in hand. And a Spell Skite does not kill us. An Ink Moth will kill us, but not a Spell Skite. Alright, let's discard... Let's discard Ovaltine. What is this? Okay. Alright. I mean, this is fine too, right? We still have the Emrakuls. It's not great, but... You know. Alright. Let's go to our turn here. Ooh, Saga. It's a good draw. Alright, I think I want to... Discard an Emrakul. Trigger. Create a food. And we're gonna play Asmo. Gonna play Asmo. When Asmo enters the battlefield, we'll get our cookbook. Yes. Congratulations over the weekend, buddy. For having a good run with the painter. I don't think we want to discard this other thing yet. But maybe we do. They only have two cards in their hand. So, like... We're kind of in a good spot, I think. I don't think we die this turn, you know? Maybe we do. 
But I don't, no, we can't we can't die this turn. I don't think we die this turn. I don't think that we die this turn. The question is, do we th pitch the Emrakul here for the uh, cookbook trigger? And I think the answer is no. I think the answer is no. No, I don't think so. No. All right. One, two. Dismember, huh? All right, well, let's use this to kill the spell skite while we still can. Sure. Okay, so they have no cards in hand from this spot. No cards in hand. We need to draw a land here so we can... Okay, well, attracts is almost the same thing as a land. Uh, that's unfortunate. I guess I'm going to Fatal Push the Spellskite now while they're tapped out. And... Yeah, that's it. That's it, unfortunately. We're just in the waiting room for Goryeo's. Goryeo's Vengeance waiting room. Ink Moth. I guess the question is, do I discard the Atrax at the end of turn? Yeah, Trax is the best land. $60 land. That's kind of wild that they chose to do two, in fact, versus attacking with this. All right, let's discard a Traxa. All right. Uh, let's photo mana here. Let's get Brainstone. Brainstone. Activate the Brainstone. Oh, we're so dead. Put back one, two. We're we're dead. One, two. Discard Daredevil. And we're not actually dead, right? Oh, Emrakul for Shuffle. Hmm. Yeah, we should have kept the Emrakul to Shuffle. We should have discarded this to Emrakul Shuffle. I put the cards back in the wrong order here. So we're going to take five. Yeah, I, I killed I killed us. I killed us by doing it like this. So now we go to three. We draw the Emrakul. We're, we're dead. We're dead here. I guess I should have kept the Emrakul to shuffle the deck away. I guess I should have thought about Brainstone. I think we definitely want Pithy Needle over Blood Fountain. Uh, and we made the mistake. I, I don't know. Right, let's run it back. Run it back. We just need to draw Gorios. Just needed to draw Gorios. Also, I shouldn't have made a... Tr uh, made a... I don't know. Would like to play first? Yes. It... Haywire Might is non-creature. Destroy target non-creature. Uh... I'm gonna keep this. We can keep this. Keep. Uh, guess I'm going to play cookbook on one. No, it's, it's not, it's definitely worse. It's definitely a little bit worse than, than just. All right, let's go blooming marsh. Let's play brainstone. Yeah, we can do a nice little shuffle here. We can do some fancy stuff here. All right, um, that's a good one. Let's play Saga here. And let's play a cookbook. And let's pass the turn. Let us pass the turn. 
No. I think Spell Sky can't make something an illegal target. Right? Maybe it could. Maybe it could. That's kind of an interesting thing to think about. Alright. I can besage you this and save the fatal push. But I think I want to just fatal push this and make a guy next turn. I don't like the idea of giving them lands. Like, besaging this unlocks all the one mana spells in their hand. So I think I just want to fatal push this. Alright. Okay, so this resolves. And I'm going to play a swamp. And I'm going to make a 5-5 five five here. I'm going to make a 5-5 five five here. We could Brainstone, but I think since we have the fetch land, we'll save the Brainstone, and we'll make a Star Star. Blighted Agents. Ah, uh, shit. Hmm. Hmm. All right. All right, friends. What are we doing here? Are we making a guy... Or are we using the brainstone? Uh, I think we need a way to win. If we just sit around here and do nothing, we'll just get rocked. Alright. Let's float a mana here. Now we can use the brainstone here. We can get a nice shuffle in here, which I think we want to do. I don't think we need to make another guy. I think if we make another guy, we could just lose. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We'll put back Blooming Marsh. We'll put back Swamp. All right, now we're searching our library. We're going to get a cookbook, I guess. Let's get a cookbook. Let's play a saga. Uh, let's discard a Traxa and make this thing bigger. And let's attack. That was not a very good brainstone. I'm not going to lie. Not a very good brainstone. We did fetch it away. We put the trigger on the stack... Right? And we shuffled and we searched for the cookbook. Uh, I think we need to discard this land in case we draw an Asmo. Alright. We need to draw Gorios. Uh, I guess we should have made a guy last turn. We'd just be killing him here. I mean, they're going to be dead next turn, regardless. I mean, they could not have another pump spell, but yes, we are probably dead. They could not have anything, but yes, chances are we are dead. Sure. That's a little, little bit much. Plus one. Okay. Attack me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What? What? Uh, one, two, make a thingy. Uh, I guess they're just dead, right? I don't need to discard because they're just dead. Guess I can just discard, right? We have another Emmer cool, so it won't matter. I guess they have to have something. I mean, if they have Force of Vigor, they have Force of Vigor. What am I going to do? I literally have no plays. I'm all in on this. I'm all in. I actually get the Brainstone back. That's pretty cool. 
Um, play another Urza Saga. Go to combat. Attempt to kill you. What on earth is in their hand? Uh, endurance, 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 spell pierce. Well. Welly, 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 well. That's wild. That's so wild. All right. So what'd you guys think of the deck? What'd you guys think? Uh, I kind of liked it. I don't know. It feels like... <laughs> I'd play more crabs, I know, right? It's not to say the same. Yeah. I mean, we could have grabbed Needle. We were dead. Yeah, we probably should have grabbed Needle and put it on the land. That was probably a better play than getting the Brainstone. The Pithy Needle has some tax that impacts the board. Uh, at least our mill matchup is good. I wish we were playing more of this card. I wish there were just more copies of this card in the deck. But other than that, it's kind of sweet. It's a sweet deck. Yeah. We should have maybe gotten Besager or whatever. I liked it. It was fun. Like the plan A, plan B, just win with Urza Saga. Play the Juggernaut Reanimator. I'm actually going to put on a list of what we're going to do next. We're going to do Quick Impulse Persist. I don't know if Footsteps... I think Footsteps doesn't give him haste. Turn target to the battle for sacrifice it. Like, it's good. Footsteps is good with Atraxa, but useless with Emrakul. <laughs> but it is an Arcane. So we can splice our Goro's Vengeance on it. Yeah, I mean, this these, these lands kind of felt... This kind of felt... I mean, I don't know. Surus, so the thing is, this list comes from this dude, Surus. And this dude's been working on this deck. And I mean working on this deck. This guy used to stream. Uh, he's a great... He's been he's been in the lab with a pen and a pad working on this deck for the last month, two months. He played this list six months ago. So he's been working on this list for six months. You know? Yeah, this dude's a great like I have nothing but respect for this dude. Nothing but nice things to say about this guy. Um and, uh, so I, if you, you can look at the iterations that his list has gone through, like here we have time of need, search your library for a legendary creature card. So gemstone caverns, forest. So you can tell that the deck has evolved. Excuse me. Forgive me. So you can tell that the deck has evolved and he's like been evolving the deck over the last couple of weeks. You know, here, here's Time of Needs, right? And this is before um, Atraxa even came out. So, like, the list is pretty cool. PT Bench played it. And PT, you know, PT Bench played some other shit. So, I, I always respect Cirrus. And it's always cool to see someone who's very uh, involved and passionate working on a deck list. Yeah, I could see Wishclaw... Oh, you're just lucky I didn't get to play against you. Put you in your place. All right, so that's going to be enough of this deck. Uh, we got trounced in the league. Got trounced in the league, 3-1 the prelim. 3-3 three, three overall, not the best. Let's stop here. What do you guys want to see? 
What do you guys want to see next? Four. Vo I'm <laughs> sorry.